ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the urban Milwaukee, July 6, 2018. Meth, a bigger issue than opioids. Now, <clears throat> there are some states that are battling the opioid plague and a new meth plague all at the same time. Wisconsin is one of those states. Um, we'll see a shift from people using opioids to methamphetamines and back again. So in other words, they um, sometimes have a heavy opioid use and then it swings back to a heavy meth use and it swings back. But you know what? These people mix these drugs too. Never forget that. They mix the drugs. Now, they've always had legislation in place for heroin opioids um, in the state of Wisconsin. Now they have to now factor in meth because it's just taking off and it's um, seeing the biggest shift in that state with meth. People talk about opioids, but in Wisconsin, for the most part, the biggest issue is meth. And the treatments are very different from the two of them. And it's been pretty big, a pretty big struggle to figure out how to provide services for both. So they have rehab there for both opioids and meth. And they're saying you can't treat them the same exact way. The other piece is that alcohol remains an enormous problem in Wisconsin, as everybody well knows. And that is best served by a third treatment model. So there's just a lot of work to do and a lot of moving parts. Wow. <laughs> Opioids, meth, and alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. Last year, North Lake Community Clinic served 143 people, including eight pregnant women, in six counties. Ashland, Bayfield, Burnett. Douglas, Sawyer, and Washburn, according to the State Department of Health Services report. Wisconsin has a huge surge of babies born addicted to uh, born to addicted mothers, which would make sense. I mean, just because women are pregnant, they don't stop using drugs. So that's pretty much the norm. <clears throat> okay. Those babies are obviously very vulnerable and we wanna protect them as much as possible, said Rice. And at that point in a woman's pregnancy, she's often very anxious to do anything she can for her baby. So she is, she's a little more open to the pain and suffering that comes with facing addiction and entering into recovery because that's not an easy thing to do. In the Northeastern part of the state, Seven of 118 treated for addicted were pregnant women. So seven out of 118 were pregnant women. That treatment area includes Florence, Manor, Marinette, Memomini, and Oconto counties. In the third treatment area of Forest Iron, Onida, Price and Villas County, 24 of 214 treated were pregnant women. You're going to always have that. And they said the opioid addicted babies have to stay in the hospital longer because it really takes that, it takes much longer for them to dry out from the drug. Um, I, I think it said the last time I read an article on it, it takes them six to eight weeks longer than babies that are addicted to other drugs and alcohol when they're born. So it, it and memory serves me right, because I did this on my old channel. For each opioid addicted baby, the state has to pay out $75,000 per baby, which means it costs a lot more to treat the opioid babies than it does babies addicted to any other drug. So that's another problem.
right there. But nonetheless, meth is a big issue and it <clears throat> and is actually growing all across the country. So, hey, like I said before, there's no end in sight. Drug use in America is here to stay, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.